Hey guys, what's going on in today's video? I'm gonna be showing you how to install Kodi for free on your iOS device and install Exodus with working repos with no jailbreak required, absolutely free. Let's check it out. So if you guys saw my video a couple months back on how to install Kodi, that method worked really well, but unfortunately it did cost some money. And a lot of you guys left comments below telling me some other apps you could use that work for free and stuff like that. And also the repo that we used, Fusion TV, no longer works that was used in the last video. So let's get started with today's video so you can install Kodi for free and get on Exodus. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is delete Kodi so we can start completely from scratch. Now I'm gonna have you go to your web browser and type in tweakboxapp.com. Now there's two different methods to install Kodi, but we're gonna go through Tweakbox so I can show you those two methods. And you're just gonna click download app. We'll say Tweakbox, all that information there, tap install, type in your password, and it says tap install and enjoy, tap install, install, done. And you'll see this app called Tweakbox. Go ahead and open it up. And here is the home page. Now, I am pretty impressed with the overall layout of this app. It's very, very clean and it's easy to access everything on here. And they've got some good stuff, but what we're gonna be going over to is the app section here in the middle and then Tweakbox apps. So in here you'll see there's a bunch of apps and you'll see Cody's on here and it has the green check mark saying it should work. However, I haven't got it to work from the Tweakbox app yet, although a lot of people said they have. Not really sure why, but right now I am not able to get it installed. So I'm gonna show you the alternative method. Back up here at the top where it says crash fix, go ahead and install this and install. And it's going to install this app called Tutu. And basically this app contains Kodi and a bunch of other stuff, but it also has like a lot of emulators and some other things I've showed you in previous videos, but it's super helpful for this specifically. So before we can open this, we're gonna have to go to our settings and um, allow the certificate. So go to your settings, then general, then scroll all the way down to profiles and device management. It's gonna be this one on the very bottom here. Click on that and it'll say Tutu app right there and tap trust and trust. And now we can go back to the app. All right, so go ahead and open up the app. Um, not, don't send me notifications. Go through the quick start here. Okay, so in the search bar up here, just type in Cody. And we're gonna download Cody Jarvis 18.1. Tap get. And it's going to download and install. And just tap on install. Now it's finishing installing, we're gonna go back over to our settings and device uh, management so we can go ahead and improve the certificate for Cody. And this one down here, tap trust, tap trust. All right, so now Cody's on here, so go ahead and tap it to open it up. Sometimes there are ads on this one, just keep that in mind, but it's a free version, so can't really complain. All right, so it's gonna take you through the first run, don't really care about that. So the first thing we need to do before we do anything, go to settings, system, go down to add-ons, and unknown sources, we're gonna go ahead and check that box and click yes. Now you may get some pop-ups here and there saying that there's a newer version of Kodi, all this update stuff. I wouldn't even worry about it. Updates are set to install automatically as they're able to, but like I said, Kodi will still work. What you'll have to worry about is the repositories that we're about to install. Sometimes those can uh, be revoked or expired at some point, but I will show you that in here in just a moment. So go ahead and click back to where on the main screen here. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to install Exodus, which is what a lot of you guys are probably watching this video for. So from the main screen, navigate to the folder up here and type add source. And then where it says none, go ahead and click on that and enter this exactly as it appears here, mediarepos.net slash Cody stuff. Tap done. And then in this little box right here, just type Cody stuff, right where it says enter a name for this media source. And once you type that in, just tap okay. Now, if you ever get an issue that says could not verify or could not um, connect or get directory, could be a network connection, that means that that um, source we're entering in there is no longer valid and you'll have to use a different one. So like I said, the one we're using right now works as of right now, but weeks or months down the road that may get revoked. So if that does happen, just Google search Exodus source for Cody and it'll show you the latest ones uh, that people have posted or made on their website. But anyway, go ahead and click the back arrow. From this screen here, go ahead and click settings and go to add-ons and then install from zip. And you'll see the one that says Cody stuff that we just made. So go ahead and click on that. And it'll say repo.zip. So go ahead and click on that file there. And you'll notice some things at the top of the screen will pop up here. So I added what's called the smash repository. So then the next step is to install that. So we're gonna go install from repository, which is gonna be this guy right here. And then go ahead and click smash repository and video add-ons. And you'll see Exodus right here. So go ahead and click on Exodus and install. Now this process does take 
just a little bit of time, probably about 30 seconds to a minute. It's gonna pop up some things as it's updating and different add-ons are being enabled. And you'll see that right here at the top. All right, and that says Excess add-on enabled. So once it says that, that means you are good to go. So on this main screen here, go ahead and click videos and click video add-ons and you'll see Exodus. Go ahead and open that up and you are in. Now there are lots of other cool things you can do with Cody and I'm not recommending anybody to do this. I'm just showing you how you're able to do it if you would like to, but Exodus is one of the most common sources people use to stream content. I'll leave some very detailed instructions in the description below, so make sure you check that out. If you have any questions or comments whatsoever, please leave them in the comment section below and also tweet me at JB underscore iPhone 5. If you have any immediate questions, I will get those notifications much, much quicker and they're easier to reply to. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.